Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you've heard about Canva's background remover tool, but you haven't used it yet. So in this video, I want to show you how to use that tool. So what I have done is created a document and pulled in a bunch of different photos just to try out this tool on some different photos. And I want to share what I've learned in this process. So to use the tool, click on the photo, then click effects, and you're going to click background remover. The photos that are going to work the best are going to be photos where the subject has a high contrast from the background. So this one, I'll show you in the end, is an okay option, but the problem is that the background color matches some of the skin tone and like the earrings, so it's going to pull out some of those things that we maybe don't actually want pulled out, but I'll show you how that works here. So click that button and then it's going to take a few seconds and pull out the background. If you guys have ever tried to take out backgrounds in Photoshop, this is much simpler compared to that process. So this, this tool is really handy. So it does a, a pretty good job, especially around the hair, but you'll see that it pulled out some of the earring, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, it may be something where you have to just play around with different photos and see what works best. This one here on the right, you would actually think that it wouldn't do as well because there's some things going on in the background, but this photo does pretty good with this tool. So I'm going to try it again. And of all the ones that I've tried so far, this is probably one of the best, oh darn it, one of the best results. Okay, I'm going to have to try it again. Not sure why I did that. And it's going. Okay, there we go. So this one does a really clean job, especially, you know, it does some, there's a really great, um, it does a really good job with the hair, which is always the most challenging part. So this one is an okay one as you'll see when it's done, it doesn't, it's not my, like my favorite result because as you'll see on the arm, it starts to go to a white highlight and then on the white background, I mean, it wouldn't have to be on a white background, of course, but it just doesn't look quite right. I'm actually going to throw a color behind this and see what that looks like. So when we do a color, it actually looks pretty good. So yeah, that works pretty well. This one, I'm going to try out another one. I was curious, since this has a brown background and they have darker skin, how this would work, but this one actually worked really well. Yeah, this one did a really like clean outline. It looks really nice. And then, oh, I had another one in here. Let me do this one quick. And this one did pretty well. I was curious with this, the white and the gray, since those are so close in value, how that would work. I'm going to try it out. So it takes a few seconds, but if you've ever had to do this manually, like this is much faster. And it does like a really good job even where, there, where the, the values were really close. So I want to show an example of, you might be thinking, okay, this is a really cool tool, but like how do I use cutout images? I want to show you an example on YouTube of a lady, Louise Henry. Okay, so here is her channel. And she does this really cool channel. Let me chop the sound here. Channel wallpaper. So she has a cutout of her. And this is an example where this works really well. So there's not a lot of space to play with, it's really narrow. And because of that, this cutout works really well to utilize the space for other things. And especially, you probably say you wanted to use a photo, you're not probably going to have a photo that is 
where the subject is this small and has enough background for this amount of space, you'd have to do some sort of like treatment or cut it off. So that's where this cutout works really good. And then she does this for all of her, all of her um, photo or video cover images. So that's another way that you can use it. So I hope you guys got to see this tool or found this like tool in action demo helpful and you have an idea of how you can use cutout images now. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.